Hey guys and welcome back. This is David and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use SurveyMonkey for your business. So basically I'm going to create a quiz in which I can use this quiz to reach a perfect candidate in the recruiting process for example or I can use it to reach a specific customer to collaborate with in my business. So after signing in for SurveyMonkey you will be redirected to this page where you will have the choice to start whether to start your survey from scratch or from one of SurveyMonkey templates or to build it with AI. So I'm going to start with a scratch. And now you will need to specify the survey title. So I'm going to say exam for example and you need to choose the, the survey category. So I'm going to choose quiz. And now you can copy questions from a specific document or you can use audience panel to buy targeted purposes, ha target, uh, targeted responses, but I'm just going to skip these two checkboxes and leave them blank. Then I'm going to click on create survey. Now we have passed the first step which is the summary and we are in the design step. So we have some tables or some labels here on the top. These are the labels that you can use to build your survey. Starting with build in which you can use to start creating different questions in your survey. So you can basically access different type of questions by going to build and you will find all these questions here or you can click on this drop down menu to, to access more questions. So basically we have here the logo if you want to add a new logo we have the title and the title of the survey and the title of the page in case your survey contains more than one page. Now I'm going to head to the question so basically we have many types of questions that I'm going to explore one by one. First type is multiple questions so this is a question in which you need uh, your candidate to answer a question from several other options. So for example you can say what is the most important skill for example in anything like leadership or whatever. So now you will find the answers that you need to enter to display in front of your candidate once he access this survey. So we can write for example persuasion presentation skills or let's say for ex for example creativity and you can enter more and more questions the more you add the more it's getting harder and more difficult in your survey so now I have added three questions you can also add points from there so we can say that one question is right and the other are wrong so you can enter one point for one of them like this I added a question by mistake so let's see interviewing for example so you can add points to the right question or if you have more than one right question you can add one point to all the right questions and if you have one question which is more right than the others while the others are still right you can add for example two points to one question while leaving one one and zero so you have added a scale to your questions or you can just take only one question as the right one if you have a problem with filling these answers you can select from answer genius many type of answers that is d inserted by default in survey monkey so so if for example i chose easy difficult you will find that it will get auto fill to these answers with a scale from the very easy to very difficult. You can also choose any different parameter or any different scale like better worse and it will do the same thing but by but by changing only the the word that is used in your answer. Next type of question is check boxes and in check boxes it's pretty much the same as um, as multiple choice questions however it can give more than one right question while in multiple choice question it's more appropriate to choose one 
and only one right question however you can do the same trick as i told you using points but it will not be sensible because multiple because multiple choice questions are usually used to uh, to, to to give just one answer while um drop down while check boxes gives more than one right answer next type of questions is store rating and in this question you are asking for a rating from your own customer or your own candidate and of course this is not the best type of questions that you can add in a quiz because it gives like an indication of how much your customer is satisfied with your services so it may be used in marketing instead of business however you can choose the scale from here from 1 to 10 so if I chose 5 it will give like full mark when it's five stars or it will display five stars in front of the uh, of the survey solver and if I choose 10 for example it will display 10 stars and he can fill the the number of stars that he want out of the five or out of the ten you can also choose different shape from star and you can change the color that is gonna dis dis be displayed in front of your survey solver next type is best worst scale so it's pretty much the same as stores however you will insert um, a column in or you will insert two labels in this cell and labels work as titles so basically for example we can see that the first label is worse and the second label is best so it's like um, a degree or a degree a degree of uh, improvement or like a scale that you c your uh, customer or your candidate or your uh, survey solver can identify what he is answering for and in items here you can choose the rows so for example if you are using this one for marketing you can use uh, worst and best then you can use service item delivery and other parameters that can be judged by your survey solver however it's not that commonly used in business so next type is file upload and this is used whenever you want to give your sur survey solver a chance to upload a file and you can also give some instructions to your respondent like don't up uh, don't upload a file which is bigger than 10 megabytes or any other note and you can specify specific type of files that will be only accepted in the upload process so you can just choose a pdf you can choose pdf and png it's up to you and it's based on your requirements so for example if you want your candidate to send you um, a cv or a resume you can just cancel all these types and leave pdf only activated and when he inserts something that is ra that, that is different from the file type that you have specified it will give your user or your survey solver a message and this message is identified from this line so you can say only bdf files are supported or you can add your text the way you want next type is single text box and in this field you allow your survey solver to write any text he wants but in a single text box and next type is comment box and in comment box it's pretty much the same as single text I don't really find that great difference between them so I'm just going to suppose that they are the same thing next type is matrix of drop down menus and this is pretty much same like drop down menu however you are giving more than one label so it means that it, you don't have only one label that you can choose from but you have more than one label so for example you can say you can add in these labels some skills like presentation skills like um, interviewing skills persuasion negotiation and things like that and in columns you can add uh, like numbers from 1 to 10 so that they can rate themselves in each of these row labels next type is drop down menu so it's basically same like the matrix of drop down menu but you only have one scale or you only have one label and you can add answers to it so we have just one label and we have a drop down menu that will give 
the survey solver some answers or some choices that he can choose from in his answer next type is let's head back to the top next type is matrix or rating scale so basically in this type of rating you will have columns which identify the type of thing that you are scaling or giving uh, a specific scale and you will have this row in which it gives you the parameter based on which you are judging this scale so you can add different weights to each column so that not all col columns are equal or you can just make them all the same weight next type of questions is ranking and in ranking you are giving like each type of row a specific rank so basically you are like arranging these answers from the highest to the lowest next type is a slider and in a slider you are giving like uh, th like exactly the same as the review when you used the stars however it's like this uh, slider that you push left or right and you decide the number on the left and the number on the right so that the user or the survey solver can drag this slider from left to right you can also add a center answer next type of questions is multiple text boxes so uh, this survey solver can give more than uh, an answer in more than one text box if there are like if there is like a question that requires a number of answers and finally date and time where you can ask your uh, candidate or your survey solver question like when can you start working or when w what is the the appropriate time for you to schedule an interview and he can answer it using date and time format so basically I will I'm going to insert like uh, three or four or five type of these questions so that we can use how they see how they look like so let's insert this one and add like persuasion negotiation and presentation then let's give the an the right answer to negotiation for example and now I'm going to click on save and choose new question then let's add for example um, let's choose slider rate your persuasion skills and from 0 to 100 and I'm going to insert 50 as a middle answer and now I'm going to press save and add a final question so that we can view our I think that the slider is a paid feature because it gives me this warning anyways I'm just going to continue for now and I'm going to click on new question then I'm going to choose let's say I want to choose best worst scale then I'm going to write what is the strongest skills you've got then I'm going to add the same three skills going to add persuasion negotiation and presentation then I'm going to choose the label labels as bad and optimum and now I'm going to remove this slider because it, it, it it's a paid version or a paid feature now I'm going to add a final question so that we can review our survey. Actually best force scale is also a paid version so it doesn't give you so much options to use. So in order not to waste so much time I'm going to delete this and I'm going to just take 
the MCQ question and I'm going to click on done and now you can change this done uh, this done button settings like you can change the word it's it's written you can choose uh, to you can add previous you can check the previous button or the next button so now I'm going to click on save and our survey is just formed from one question you can edit style from styles where you can change the color for example you can add any question you want from the question bank so if you're mine get frozen and you can't know what type of questions you can add you will find a library of different questions that you can use from SurveyMonkey and once you are done you can move on to the next step which is preview survey and this is how your survey will look like So if you are satisfied with this you can go to the next step which is collect responses where you will be asked what type of of uh, what type of sharing that you want so you can send surveys by yourself using email or embedded code in your website or you can give SurveyMonkey the option or the choice to share this survey for you to the ideal candidate he finds based on the data or the personal data inserted by the users of SurveyMonkey. Next you can analyze results however since we do not have any results you will find that this section is empty and you can also present results from this final tab if you have any results activated. So that's it for this video guys. So this is how you can use SurveyMonkey to add any type of questions you want however we have noticed that most of them are actually requiring a paid uh, a paid fee, uh, a paid plan but you can completely make your format or make your survey for free if your answers are just uh, using mcq or multiple choice questions so that's it for this video guys if you found this content helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye